You know, the worst part about being any type of content creator uh, is actually coming up with the content. And I had a really spicy idea today. And it was... We need to talk about Pendulum Magician and how we need to hit this deck. Now, I know audience. You all are about to tell me that I am fucking full of shit and I have no idea what I'm talking about because trick stars and spirals are the clear problem. And let me tell you, Duelist, you are absolutely right. But we already know that. What if it's all part of the Konami Master Plan to eliminate these troublesome decks already? Oh, but Robbie, you need to do a bandless discussion video to tell us these things. Well, in the name of science, we will do a bandless discussion video. But this is the video where I get to say, Fuck you, pendulum magicians! So let's dig into that discussion. Shall we? Uh, 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 I'm so beautiful. What a time to be alive. Whew! Pendulum magician. We're conquering a bridge here. I know. I know. I know Pendulum Magician hasn't done dick butthole in a while. But that's not the part of making bold, interesting claims. Did everyone forget we're getting this Heavy Metal Foes Electromite bullshit? You know, the, the thingy over here? You know, this guy? Ah! God. Just like, feeling it up from behind. You guys know that Pendulum Magician up until recently was, by recently I mean up until Spirals came out, it was it was that definitive deck that players were picking up. And I know it's crazy to say that we should probably do something to it, but everyone in the community thinks that Electromite is going to do something for this deck. And for those of you that don't know what Electromite does, if it's Link Summoned, you get to add a Pendulum Monster from, <laughs> from your deck uh, to your face up extra deck. So, okay, bada bing, bada boom, you do it. It's got the, the dual little zones pointing down. And then you can target one other face-up card you control, destroy it, and then you can choose one face-up pendulum monster from your extra deck uh, to your hand. And then if this card leaves the field, uh, you get to draw a card. The fact that you can destroy your pendulum scales and recur some beauty, which is absolutely value. And you guys, you guys know, like, one of the problems that this deck has was just being able to clean up shit. Now, does this really take away from more of your standard plays? Well, Omega and, what was it, Time Star Magician was probably your most powerful play that the deck could really do. I know, I'm really talking this deck up right now. I know, I, trust me, we didn't do a line of coke off a of hooker's ass. We didn't do any of this other crazy shit, but just hear me out here. In a world where spirals are checked and tricksters are checked, reincarnation is gonzo at one, and then to top things off, spiral resort is at one. Now, as I said, I'll do a formal discussion video on what I want to happen. This is just more of the, we've already gone past that point, now we're at the next point. Looking at how the OCG's been testing for January already, I mean, sure, the OCG's got needle fiber, Summon Sorceress, Scold Eat, all this other bullshit. But the TCG has been predicting this. Oh my god, I'm going to get the chance to play my Pendulum Magician deck. It's going to be so amazing. Electromite's going to give Pendulums a chance to be Tier 1 again. But is it, though? But is it? And if it really is, do we need to clean this shit up before it becomes an immediate issue? And to be honest with you, the only reason why Pendulum Magician's even doing fucking a butthole of anything, is you gotta remember, placing those Pendulum Scales takes away two resources. At this point in time, the Pendulum mechanic itself is so inherently bad, it's not even funny. The real reason that this deck is even doing anything, because 95% of the Pendulum mechanics were devised with the ability to just flood spam out from the extra deck, you know, original meta foes and things like that, uh, summon two from the extra deck under Master Rule 3, and be able to move along with your day. Can't do that anymore. 
but you already knew that because you're watching this as a uh, assumption video to what needs to get cleaned up and Pendulum Magician. So, Pendulum Magician's uh, got that Oath Dragon bullshit that lets you get around it by adding more to your hand. Magicians are the only Pendulum deck that has survived to this point because of its diversity to add things back from the extra deck to the hand and recur not only the negative two from placing the scales, most of the scales are self-replaceable anyway, because of uh, purple poison and the ability to add the time pendulum graphs um, off of whatnot, and then plus the ability to have the spell card that recurs for literally anything in the deck. That's value. And for a pendulum deck like this, getting support like this, I don't know what fucking people are really worried about by saying that this deck is going to be so absolutely nut shit broken. This is just... <sighs> if we have to do anything, it's we gotta kick Time Pendulum Graph the fuck out. And... <sighs> Shout out to my boy Wisdom Eye. Even at this current point in time, you're still fucking pain in my ass. Now, Wisdom Eye, Wisdom Eye is literally one of the nuttiest plays that the deck actually has, because you can just Wisdom Eye out one, Wisdom Eye out two. Remember, it's not once per turn. As long as you've got that pin, uh, Magician Pendulum scale, you can replace into any other odd Magician scale you need. Now, I don't know why particularly people are worried about Pendulum Magician in the slightest. I understand that Electromite, it does stuff for the deck, but... It's, what, an 1800 body? To, yeah, it's an 1800 body. It gives you the ability to destroy your card to get your time pendulum graph, which is wonderful, you know, or destroys double iris on your turn. One of the issues that the deck had was, you know, being able to pop your shit on your turn. But if you're going first and you make this, and you have the ability to make Omega and, you know, Time Star Magician, um, is this play really even better? That, that's the question I'm asking here. For the people that say, you guys like how we shifted gears from the, we need to clean this shit up, that's been the general consensus that I've been reading through the community, is, oh my god, time star, uh, this deck's so broken. Once you get into a slower paced format, I'm sure Pendulum Magician will be an issue. And the things that you could look at to preemptively hit the deck are literally Scroll Cabat, Joker, Wisdom Eye. Hey, do these things sound familiar? They're, oh wait, they're things that were already hit on the deck. The deck is getting that massive draw power um, spell card eventually. I, I've been discussing it, I don't think the card's, the card's good, but it's not good. If you're going first and you draw your five, you can only resolve it after you've already done your combo. So that's why I'm indifferent about it. Now, the OCG has been testing Pendulum Magician post-release for January. Um, I've been seeing a little bit of their tournament results. I've been seeing the Abyss Actor seeing play in their builds. Um, but they also have Schneedle Fiber. Um, but Pendulum Magician in the OCG, uh, they're abusing more of the side with Lecter, or excuse me, Vector. You guys remember the uh, True Draco engine? <laughs> the part that's been forgotten about the deck? Um, interesting enough, though, uh, just seeing like the normal pendulums kind of come back into the game is actually extremely interesting. Because it's been, oh my god, so fucking long since we've actually seen these things. Oh, can we limit Ash? Actually, hold on. I was looking for uh, the one list I had really quick. Shout out to Astrograph, though. You are the real motherfucker. Um, okay, so the OCG is obviously using double Electromite with double Needle Fiber. It's basically an extension of the deck. Now, I'm under the assumption of making this at making this video that we're not going to get Needle Fiber this set. I think it's an excellent idea for them to wait until May to release it. I know, but get your pitchforks ready. I understand. If you put too many of the essential good cards in the first pack, no one's gonna buy the second pack. So for the marketing scheme, I think they're gonna break that shit up. But 
the way the OCG is doing things, the fact that needle fiber is just so fucking goddamn broken that you need to consider these things. Um, also, the fact that we can still make two Omegas in the TCG in this variant as opposed to the one that they can make, um, that's something that needs to be considered as well. Because I think if, if you want to go the route of needing to clean up the deck, Omega's probably going to be one of your targets you're going to want to go for. Just put it to one. Okay, I don't have to worry about getting double Omega, which is fine. The double Omega play doesn't happen all that often. I think it's just depends on the hand you open up with, honestly, to do it. And hitting hitting Time Pendulum Graph or the spell card that searches, I mean, most of the builds are only playing, what, one anyway? So there's that. But without any doubt in my mind, after Spirals and Tricksters are hit, this will be one of the best decks, if not the best deck, because of Electromite. Um, there's nothing else that comes out in the near future that comes anywhere near close to competing with this, unless with cleaning this up we get more grass variants into the format because of the Light Sworn uh, Link monster. Uh, the Noble Knight one's really cute uh, because it doesn't do much. Um, well, it does It does a little bit for Six Samurai and whatnot. But you've got Draco and Paleo already, and the, they're the masters of the tier 2 block, like literally, they're the gatekeepers that like, if you want to pass into the next round of the tournament, you must defeat us. You know, they're sitting here, they're waiting for these opportunities. And you know, when Pendulum Magician gets Electromite, and Spirals are dead, you know, you're gonna go Spirals currently, and then we've got Pendulum Magician now, and we're gonna flip-flop here when we get Electromite, so... Does the deck need to be hit? I don't think so. I think the deck will be fine. If we get two pissed Electromite, you know, we can clean that shit up. But the deck is so broken, right, guys? Oh! Yeah. That's how I feel every time I read my comment section. Dear Konami, please nerf Pendulum Magician. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Fucking Yu Gi Oh! I swear to God, some days. What do you guys think about Pendulum Magician? needing to be absolutely ass annihilated. Leave a comment down below to me what you guys think, and I'm out. Later! The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel, and join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching guys and please have a good day.